Hello students, in this video we'll introduce partial differential equations as an application of partial derivatives. So a partial differential equation is an equation involving partial derivatives of a function. So if you're given a function z equals f of x and y, then PDEs or partial differential equations involve f f x, the x derivative, f y. They could involve the second x derivative, the x y derivative, or the y y derivative, and so on and so on and so on. There's equations that involve all the derivatives of the function. So I'll write down some classical ones. So the equation f x x, the second x derivative, plus the second y derivative of a function of two variables being equal to zero is the Laplace equation. And we can write down a solution. There's many solutions to the Laplace equation. I'll give you one example of them, of the infinitely many. If I look at the function x squared minus y squared, well, we can check that the x derivative of this function is 2x, and the x x derivative of this function is 2. The y derivative of this function is 2y with a negative sign. Then the y y derivative of this function is negative 2. If I add f x x to f y y, I get 2 plus negative 2, or 0. So this function over here is a solution to the Laplace equation. You can check, if you want, that g of xy, which is x cubed minus 3xy squared, is also a solution to the Laplace equation. As I mentioned, there's infinitely many solutions, and there's a very interesting field of study called harmonic analysis or harmonic function theory, which studies the solution to the Laplace equation. Another example of a PDE, so that's one example. Another example of a PDE would be this, fxx is equal to fyy. So it looks like Laplace's equation, but it's the same thing as saying fxx minus fyy is equal to zero. This is called the wave equation, or the 1D wave equation. And you can check, for example, here's an example. If I look at f of x and t, which is x minus t quantity squared, or if we foil this out, this would be x squared minus 2xt plus t squared. Well, let's do the x derivative of this. The x derivative of this is going to be 2x minus 2t. The x x derivative of this is just going to be a 2. If I do the t derivative of this, it will be, let's check, the t derivative of this is going to be negative 2x plus 2t. And then the t t derivative is going to be f t t will be 2. So f x x is equal to f t t. So this is a solution of the wave equation. The wave equation is a very important equation in the propagation of motion along a wave pattern. So it occurs in acoustics. It occurs in radio transmission. It occurs in a lot of physical context. Now it turns out that e partial differential equations are also extremely useful in the field of finance. So I can give you one more example of a PDE. If I look at d c d t plus r s d c d s plus one half sigma squared s squared d squared c d s squared is equal to r times c. This partial differential equation for a function c of both s and t is the Black-Scholes equation. What the Black-Scholes equation tells you is it tells you the price of a call option that depends on an underlying stock price S at time t. And in finance, a call option is a financial instrument which gives you the rights to buy a stock at a certain price 
in the future. And you do not have to exercise this option. So for example, if you bought a $50 strike call option on a stock that was currently $45, you would not want to buy a $45 stock for $50. But if that stock jumped from $45 to $100, the call option would give you the right to buy that $100 stock for $50. So they occur a lot in finance as ways of hedging investments or immunizing a portfolio against certain, certain financial events. Thank you very much.